Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Scrap Masters Paradise. Today I've got my January flip through for you guys. I've got January completed and I had it completed as of March 4th. So I'm a little bit late on my um, deadline of being a month behind. I was a month and a couple of days behind, but I was super happy with my progress getting it done. The neighbors are moving their trash can outside. Um, their garage so it's very loud we hear them I'm like on an outside wall right here but anyway I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys my January flip through I've just got one of these project lifestyle um, d-ring albums and so this one actually starts with December so my December daily is in here and I wanted to show you guys what I did here with the tabs. I got these from L Studio and I ended up stapling them to the edge. I had them up at the top, but uh, they weren't sticking out very well because these page protectors are pretty deep. I get the Echo Park ones and there's like a, a quarter to a half an inch at the top of these that uh, make it really hard for that tab to stick out. So they still don't stick out a whole whole lot because of how I stapled them on but it's just enough that you can read the months on there. So here is where January starts. I have done um, weekly project life process videos so I will link to the weeks that I have included in this so you guys can see those if you want to see those and then I have a lot of traditional layouts sprinkled in. I am using all 12 by 12 page protectors. I don't use any of the pocket protectors anymore. And what I did for some of these, not all of them yet, is I used the fuse tool. I'll show you guys a little bit closer. I used the fuse tool to seal these up. Now, I didn't go all the way across. I just did kind of in the middle. And some of these are better than others. I was just kind of learning how to use it for the first few, so they're kind of wonky but I really like that the pages stay in. So I'm gonna be doing that to all of my pages because my little girl flips through these albums all the time and the pages start slipping out the top. And so I am really glad that I did the Project Life pages the way I did where they're inside the 12 by 12 page protectors because if I use the pocket pages, cards would have just been everywhere by now. They would have gotten mixed up and um, it wouldn't have worked very well for letting my little girl flip through my album. Anyway, let's go ahead and walk through. I've done a lot of process videos on um, these various layouts that I have, so I will link to as many of them as I can for you guys. There's some more pictures. That was a February kit project I did for Freckled Fawn. And some more February kit projects. And you can see I stopped sealing them up, so I've gotta go back and finish sealing up the rest of these here and you can see some of them are sliding out because Olivia pulls this album down all the time. So this one's actually one I haven't blogged at all. I really like that one. I used Echo Park and Doodlebug Mermaid collections for that one. These are all process video pages that I shared. And then Mermaid Hair Don't Care I blogged this one. And then here's two more that um, I actually made a bunch of these and did a video over on the Freckled Fawn channel sharing my progress. I was trying to use up all of my February kits. So I used February kit products on these two here. They kind of go together. So Bubbles, Bubbles, Pop, Pop, Pop. It's part of one of Olivia's favorite books. And two more that I made with that March, um, with that February challenge using up the kit two more I did for that as well. So, love the letters of these. I'm not a huge gold person, but it's growing on me the more and more I use it. That's a Project Life. More Project Life. And then this layout I actually just made. It is over on my um, blog now. I'll link to that. I used some of the March kit goodies from Freckled Fawn more Project Life. And then this one I made as a process video over on the Freckled Fawn channel for Washi Wednesday. I did a washi background for that one. I really like how that one turned out. And then I made this one uh, yesterday or the day before. It's already on my blog too. This is one of those February Killer Kit projects I made. And that was it. So that moves into February. I still have um, a couple of 
traditional layouts to finish in February. I plan on getting those done by the end of March. And as you can see, uh, my book only held two and like a half months here because December is such a big month and my January ended up being quite big too. I definitely want to work on having less dimensional pages for the most part so I can get more photos in an album. I would ideally like to get three to four months in an album. Two and a half um, just leaves me with having way too many albums by the end of the year. But I think if I could condense it to three, possibly four albums, I think it'd be really good. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.